Hitta hästen! Det var ju roligt. <laughs> A sturdy metal door guards the southwest entrance to the apartment building. It's locked. It's locked. This could be a way into the apartment building the smoking man vanished into. Leave. Vi ska inte knacka nu. Vi pratar inte med henne där uppe. Vi ska till kroppen. Vi ska få ner kroppen. Så det var det vita hästen det fanns massa härliga knarkare. Uh, hockeyspelande ungdomar. Uh, alltså jag, jag tänker så här. Om man har så, sådant behov av att ta droger. Varför gör man det på sånt liksom. Om du är ungdom och ändå spelar vita hästen. Det är division 1 va. Och då har man ju ändå börjat kommit en bit. Indirekt i sin karriär. Och kör de kanske fem år till. Så kanske de ändå når upp till en vettig position i. Hockeyvärlden liksom. There he still is. Looking right through. There he still is. His white eyes. The body below is entirely dedicated. To that corpse smell. Mm. Emitting it is all it does now. Shit compressed. Nu kör vi. As you breathe in. The odor comes over you. It's a smell of the mind. Telling you to run. And your stomach to ring itself empty. With your hands at your sides and your eyes squinting, you stand in it. Did you after seven days? Yes. <laughs> we are deep in decomposition here. The man before you is naked, but for a pair of underpants and enamel boots. Yes. His skin is greenish. Ja, så då kommer jag aldrig kunna spela hockey någonstans igen, liksom. Blotched by lividity. A fading web of tattoos covers his chest and shoulders. The cargo belt used to fasten him to the branch above appears industrial in strength. Nej, alltså jag tänker liksom att förstöra allting. De har ju liksom spel har man ändå kommit till vita hästen. Det är väl division 1 de spelar i. Eller hur? Eller? Jag kommer inte ihåg. Det vill säga att Sveriges tredje lika liga. Jag vet faktiskt inte. A-lag. Och det är ju bra. Nej, <laughs> de spelar ju hockey allsvenskan. De spelar så högt upp alltså. Då, då är det liksom... Då är det, de spelar inte Division 1. De spelar i hockey allsvenskan, det vill säga Sveriges näst högsta liga. Då är man ju ändå helt okej okay. betald ändå kan man vara. Beroende på hur duktig man är och så vidare. Självklart. Uh, och gör man bra ifrån sig där så är det ju bara ett litet steg kvar kanske till ett bättre klubb i Hockey Allsvenskan i Vita Hästen. Eller ett steg och få ett kontrakt i SOL Och är man i SOL då känner man ändå rätt bra med pengar. Liksom. Börja kunna göra Mm. Nu ska vi se. Snittlön och allsvenskan. Ja, ah, men nu fick vi massa löner i AIK. Det skit jag. Så här mycket känner spelarna i hockey allsvenskan. Ja, det är ju bra att ni gömmer allting under en jävla fucking jävla plus. Reddit här. Se om de har något tråd här. Nu ska vi se här. Oj, oj, oj. Okej. Det var typ varenda jävla spelare i hela jävla ligan. Men om vi kollar här. Vita hästen här då. Då hade vi några här. Knut Köler. Det här för 2021 då. Noll kronor. Men sen hade vi även Jesper Samuelsson som tjänade 600 000 spänn. Vi har en del som tjänade 181 000. 353 000. Jens Holmström. 
det är väl inte det är väl helt okej okay för att spela hockey i näst högsta ligan. 200 000. Det är kanske lite lågt men det ändå är helt okej okay betalt om man säger så för att göra sitt. Och vissa här känner ju ändå är helt okej okay i hockey allsvenskan om man tittar. Adam Pettersson i mod, har jag över en miljon, hade 2021. Så det finns ju pengar att tjäna om du är duktig liksom, även i hockey allsvenskan. Ah, ja, vi ska funka. Nu ska vi inspektera den här kroppen. Inspector Boots. The material appears to be ceramic. Its clean white stands in stark contrast. Så vi får ner honom här. The decaying flesh above the knee. The man wore thick polymer socks, probably for padding. A fine array of interlocking plates covers them. Delicate and fragile. They feel alien to the world around you. Out of place somehow. These are clearly not boots. They are armor. Possibly part of a larger set. Han var utklädd till en riddare tror jag. They aren't just boots are they? They are armor. Indeed. Technically speaking, these are sabatons, not boots. Ceramic plate. Zirconium dioxide most likely. This is where the make would be. Under the heel. Fair weather. Fair weather model T500 VE. I'm guessing that's vitreous enamel. This is advanced stuff. What happened to the rest of it? The material looks out of place. Knock, knock on the boot. A small bell-like sound fills the air, like tapping on the side of a porcelain Ooh. cup. Fragile. It's anything but. This material is a kinetic redistributor. It spreads kinetic energy horizontally from plate to plate, dissipating it entirely. See? Faint. Organic lights cover the plates mm. where they separate into smaller ones. Så mycket information om ett par skor här. Into smaller plates until there Eller, are stövlar. hundreds of them altogether. Like whirls of floorboards. The design looks organic, influenced by highly resistant wood materials like lignum vitae and ebony perhaps. If trees were made of porcelain, this is what their cross section <laughs> would look like. Run your fingers over the lines. The smooth, glossy surface fractures. Stora smeker hans stövlar här. Peaking on the right sabaton, where you notice the words are in the shape of a letter and number combination. E50, 100, 1000. Zero number on the right. Good. Can you read it to me? He tips the drawing ballpoint of the pen and song. X54156745678. Two, two, two. Let's lie. <laughs> I alert. We have got in this game for a while, such a drag. That doesn't sound like a serial number. Where is the structure and logic of a line of manufactured products? Well, no matter. We should run it anyway. Yes. True. It didn't have the cadence and logic of a real manufactured item. Let's run it, as I said. We have a make and a number. That's something. We can use the radio in my kinema to run it later. Either station can chase it for us. Uh, alltså, det känns så konstigt att vi ljög där. Uh, uh, knock on the boots, uh, pull off the booth. How could this man afford such expensive That's hardware? That's for us to find out. My initial report on the area suggests he was a security guard for the harbor company. But that's just hearsay. Just something I scraped together from Initial the report. An area report on Martinez. I'm sure you did the same. Yes. He's not actually sure of that. He's just being tactful. Mm. I agree. This equipment is way beyond what a guard can afford. It is. Mm -hmm. It's expensive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We've requested similar material for our tactical units for years now. The constabulary is deemed it too costly. In that time, we've lost six men to semi-automatics. Oh, how much are we talking about? For a full set, about four years of wages. For the northwest region of Revachol, an officer's average yearly income is 5,500 real. Oh, not yes, that's right. for rank. Wait, my yearly pay is 5,500? Catching, baby! By catching, do you mean let's not log them as evidence? Let's steal them. 
What was that about the constabulatory before? You need to push some buttons if you want to recruit a lieutenant in a conspiracy. That is what Kashing means. If this constabulary dragon... Oh. Mm -hmm. It means disciplinary hearing. The locals probably scavenged it. Fick inte med honom på min plan på att sälja skorna. We should keep a lookout for these species. Rest of the armor. armor could yield information. This is one thing he might actually know. Maybe we're just wearing these boots. There's no rest of the armor. No, I think he had Femme something expert. precious underneath the clothes. They had to remove the jeans and shirt we found to get to it. And this kind of armor is often worn under fabrics. Nice. That makes sense. What if they told him to strip before they hung him? To demean him? He could have been walking around naked just like this for all we know. I... They usually hang them completely naked for that. La puta madre. The Mazda. The Besmerti and the like. This one still has his underpants. <laughs> Fucking talking about underpants. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Kuno. Clearly, Kuno <laughs> would like to interject something here. But there's not enough for him to hold on to. Pull up. This feels dangerous. Are you sure? Grab the boot under your arm. The stench fills your nostrils. As you push downward, the an ominous creaking sound, sound comes from above. Oh, oh, oh. Stop. Oh, oh, oh. The lieutenant voice is sharp. He looks at you with the boot under your arm. He's going to pull his head off. <laughs> Rachel. Oh, this is a bad idea, isn't it? You're going to pull his head off. Do what? Pull his head off. There's no point performing an autopsy if you do. We'll have compromised the coroner's case. Indeed. Uh... From this angle, it does look like the neck isn't going to take much more. Being dead for a week. Also, we should have already lost that mood here, so maybe we should not destroy our own possibility to lose this mood. What are you trying to achieve anyway? Why are you hanging on to that boot? These boots would go super well with my bell bottom pants. This is advanced enemy technology. We should conduct research into the weakness. <laughs> Are we not detectives? There may be clues inside the boots. You said they're, they're expensive. I thought I could pawn them, earn some lucre. This is not the enemy. This is the deceased. The, the victim, victim. In a murder investigation. Better safe than sorry. That doesn't mean anything, detective. Besides, there's no way you're getting them off. All the organic matter in his body has been flowing oh. down into the boots. They are fused to his feet now. Why do you think the locals haven't scavenged them yet? You're sure there's a way to peel them off. But first, the body needs mm -hmm. to be... We must have the first and second, it would probably be better if the lieutenant wasn't around. Uh, steal a dead man's boots, but that would be dishonorable. The anticipation makes you crack your fingers. Getting the hangman boots. It feels nice. Nice and cracky. Processing will take care of them. With the situation in the morgue, it will yield nothing. But we must pick our fights. Mm -hmm. Should we continue? The cadaver slowly twists on the cargo belt. His torso covered in tattoos and extremities blotched pink and blue. The hangman's knot is pulled tight by the weight of the okay. corpse below. Mm -hmm. Yellow, hard-edged polyester, polyester cuts into his neck. Above, a sliding buckle ties the belt to the branch. Oi, 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 oi. This is a steel-reinforced cargo lashing belt. Big brother of the regular cargo belt. It's used for tying cargo under six rotor airships. Jenna Magan! Fyller maggan. Om det här spelet är så bra som många säger. Då måste vi definiera spel först och främst. Det här är egentligen inget spel på det bemärkelse att du gör så himla jättemycket sådär. Däremot så får du möjligheten att kunna påverka en hel del storymässigt. Beroende på hur du bygger din karaktär och säger konversationer. En, hel, en del konversationer är genialiskt skrivna. Superroliga. 
fantastiska. En del har ju varit lite mer sega. Så det var lite två mynt. Vi har typ inte kommit någonting i storyn riktigt ännu. Trots att vi har spelat det här upp mot åtta timmar redan. Känns det som i alla fall. Det är en väldigt detaljerad bild man får av vart vi är. Hur karaktärer man spelar, fungerar och allt sånt där. Så än så länge tycker jag spelet är bra. Men det är inte riktigt ett spel som på något sätt du behöver liksom super skills på, på något sånt här. Liksom pam pam pam. Utan det är lite mer laid back. Oh my, there's something on the belt. A familiar word that speaks to the mm. first. Det är... Du är ju en avdankad uh, fyllopolis som ska utreda det här mordet. Varför hänger han där? Och jag tog ju rollen över att jag skulle vara så jävla flumme och dryg som möjligt och sånt här i det här spelet. Så lite den approachen var på det mesta. <laughs> um, men med det i åtanke så uh, har jag ju då rollspelar jag min karaktär. Kanske inte är det bäst snabbaste, effektivaste eller bästa men kanske roligaste. Vermilion in yellow letters along the length of the twisting cargo belt. Vermilion. Only a deep longing for Vermilion golden spirits lets you decipher the fading logo of the local brewery. I should get a drink. No, you should not get a drink. <laughs> you should perform an initial inspection. I should get a drink. Corpse. We are on the road part. Don't ask me how I know, but this is a lashing belt used for our... airlifting. Airlift. I thought it was drink, eller hur? Trapping cargo today. Always a drink. For all the transformer, my brain tells me so. Then again, what do I know? The local harbor uses six rotors to shuffle containers around. Always get a drink. I get the sense they use whatever was on hand without. We say that mean mean incriminating themselves. Min öl som jag drack och min cigarett, den effekten har försvunnit från min karaktär här. Jag är inte, inte den utan fyllot som är i grön kavaj där. Så att, gillar man liksom lite mer dialog som det här, bara dialog och sen försöka... Uh, så sagt, än så länge har det bara varit väldigt mellanåt roligt spel uh, dialogmässigt. Så att jag skulle vilja säga att det är mer en interaktiv bok. Som du kan påverka vad som händer och hur du beter dig istället för att det ska vara skrivet om man säger fastskrivet av en manusförfattare så liksom. Ja men jag spelat Ring City. Jag kommer inte ihåg. Um. Vilken del eh, spelar jag det? Som det är en DLC så vet du fan om jag gjorde det. Nej. Inte spelat Ring City. Det är väl Dark Souls 3 vi pratar om här, eller hur? Det blir gärna så att det, när DLC brukar inte bli att jag spelar riktigt. Eftersom då spelar jag någonting annat <laughs> när DLC väl släpps. Det är som Elden Ring här, det är också... Kom, när det väl kommer DLC så får vi se om man plockar upp den. Kanske till Elden Ring, för jag tyckte om det spelet. Uh, not incriminating that. We assume in dock workers from the harbor did it. They sure wanted him to stay up there. The rope is reinforced with steel wiring. How did they get him? I was afraid it would be. Thin steel wiring, parallel strands. This makes getting him down more problematic than I had assumed. The brief suggested as much. Politically motivated by the ongoing strike. Did you not get a briefing? Uh, yeah, no, they might have forgotten to brief me. My past has undergone total annihilation. Nothing remains. My mother, the love of my life, certainly not a brief. <laughs> okay, you should ask me for one the first moment we get. Ask him to tell you about the case, okay. 
Ja, nej, nej. Nej, jag har alltså... Jag var tvungen att kolla upp att det var DLC så ordentligt och det. Och eftersom det är en DLC till Dark Souls 3 så har jag inte spelat en DLC till Dark Souls 3. Dark Souls 2 spelar jag några DLCs till. Vi ska fråga Kim här också sen om vårt case vi håller på med. Men det blir imorgon. That ladder can't carry a grown man. I didn't see any splintering either, did you? I think the last suit the branch, then pulled on the bell to close the buckle. Is could be. The shape of the branch supports the theory. Mm -hmm. The cadaver hangs from the cargo belt, limbs limp. Yes. An intricate web of blue lines stretches across the torso, from the right shoulder to the solar plexus. Each time they intersect, a small white star is formed in their crossing. Hundreds of fading asterisks riddle his skin. The concentration is for, for nu, around his heart. Så som spelvärlden fungerar nu med att man typ remakar spel som ändå inte är så gamla och släpper dem i så här Game of the Year slash Remastered Edition med alla DLCs och grejer och det. Så säger jag väl att det känns ju så konstigt om man går och köper nu en DLC. Och sen om något år så kommer en remake eller remaster eller något sånt där med texturuppdatering. Alltså det känns ju allting håller på sånt där. Alla populära spelare liksom. His corpse is marked by stars. What will mine be marked by? Alcohol. A heart. And heartbreak. <laughs> is this a map of the night sky? Is this a microelectronic system? I have only a cursive knowledge of the science of cybernetics. I would not know if it were. But it's not quite complex enough, is it? Assassin's Creed, menar du då, i Paris. Har inte spelat något Assassin's Creed efter Black Flag. För jag lästade lite på spelet Black Flag, även om det var fantastiskt att åka båt i spelet och allt sånt där, så tyckte jag att jag lästnade på hur Assassin's Creed-spelen var, kort och gott. Så jag spelade 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2 är ju väl Mellanöstern. Vänta, 1 är ju i typ Jerusalem eller var det är någonstans. 2 kommer jag inte ihåg. 3 är väl i Nordamerika, inbördeskriget. 4 är ju Black Flag. Uh, Måker pirat. Inte 2 är det i Italien då eller? Något sånt. I agree. A sudden ring fills the air as the lieutenant pulls down the zipper of the orange jacket. He takes a thin piece of milled aluminium from his coat pocket and pulls it open. Sounds like a sword being unsheathed. A small lens appears. Some sort of camera. What's that? A trigger sunshine. Mini. Triggered is the world's leading manufacturer of intercommunication devices. Primarily projectors. The camera before you looks familiar somehow. Shit, Kuno! What the fuck is that? <laughs> An instant color camera. Instant color camera. He produces two metal capped ampoule and click them into place in the side of the appar apparatus. A thin slot shines there. This is the first time he openly acknowledges the kid's existence. Mm -hmm. I have only two ampoules, so nobody move. I don't want to waste one. He points the camera at the corpse, peering into it. The lens needs adjusting. Then, click! A sound, a shrill flash. Nice! The breaking of a small ampoule of glass. You see streams of color pour onto the thick, glossy piece of paper. Rolling out. So you have a sexy build. Han hänger där i sina vita fillingar. Alltså. In case we need it. The lieutenant says and shakes the paper, letting it dry in the cold wind. On it, a color perfect cop of the dead man's tattooed chest. Yes. Cool, cool it machine. Is pretty cool, isn't it? What do we need this photo it for? It contains insight to the victim's person. Victim task. By his build, I'd say this was a man of physical violence. The story he wanted his body to tell was important to him. It is his letter. To us. Someone should decipher it. We need to show it around. Can I have it? You look at the lady without the corpse. Sure. Just don't. Yes! 
Don't lose it. He hands you the piece of rolled up photo paper in a large room pack of cigarettes. The glossy eyed corpse looks by, his mouth mute. Fan har vi rökt en cigaretter? Vad var det? Generaler som stod där i paketet och stirrade på oss. Teeming with opportunistic organisms. His eyes are milky white and blind to the world. Protruding comically from their sockets. There is no one home. Just sub- No one is home on his dead hanging body. Dark brown hair grows on his head. His face is ready to explode from the organic processes inside the death's head <laughs> grin has passed what remains is an unrecognizable mess tell me who are you dead man okay hi 72 percent over two and 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 over two I'm yay gone. Uh, the hangman i'm gone <laughs> Where have you gone? I can see you're gone, but who are you? What is that? I hate you. You stink and you're boring. Do I remind you of someone? A child born with Muller's disease, Harlequinism, grown up miraculously. A baby affected with Harlequinism. No, not quite. Be fair now. You sure I got out of that one? Coppellini. I'm a joke. Look at, Look at me. me. There's nothing funny about you. There is nothing funny about jokes either. Who were you when you were alive? A killer. A mother. A motherfucker. And a killer. And a killer. And a killer. Go ahead, Coppa. Where have you gone? Into the wild pale yonder. In the past. Way out in the west. I can't get the damn compartment in my ledger open. The blue heart. Oh, that's good shit. You'll love it. Just press down and fuck it open like you always do. Fuck you open like you always do. Fuck it hard. Copo po the clown. Fuck Fuck it hard, Copo Bode Clown. He means force. It'll work. What do you mean? It's the power of your black frothy liquid starts bubbling in his lips. Imagination. Yeah, man! No, be his lips. crazy! Inanimate objects and dead people can't really talk to you. Your wild imagination is doing this. Ask some more of those questions you love so much. <laughs> Min slips kommer in och skriker på mig. He loves those. Why do I love questions so much? Because you're a copperoni. Look at all of them go. Do you want more questions? Give me a comical amount of questions. Coming right up. Copperoni, <laughs> Rooney. This is getting up. Be now. Who killed you? Loved it, me and Brother Copo. It was love all along. Can you ask me a question? Sure, Lobo. I can ask you a question. Why are you doing this? What? Looking at my face, motionless. Looking into my eyes. We'll have expert. Why are you investigating my murder? I don't have anything else to do. Because he told me to. Lead some signs I. You're a lying sack of shit, shit Coppa. Coppa. You're doing this because there is nothing else to do. You read my mind. Everything else is over. It's just me now. Is my name Rooney? Fuck no. <laughs> You're no Rooney. I do strike myself as a Rooney. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> Between you and me. Your name is probably Harry. Because you have. I have, okay. Enough! Come back later, Coppo. Amuse yourself with Squint my friend. Squint and take a step back. My... Uh. As you narrow your eyes, the monster before you blurs into a violent mess of green, green and, and pink. pink. This is a trick. You've done it before. Pink is where the blood settled in the first hours post-mortem. You can use it to see if the corpse has been tampered with. Does his position at the time of death match the discoloration? 
Only the lower extremities are pink with a dash of blue. His fatted hands, thighs, and his neck, just above the noose. The rest of the corpse appears dark green in the cold spring air. His face and hands are pink. I see it. His neck too. The lividity goes right up his chin. We have good, well pronounced discussion. So, när man spelar här spelet, då måste man ta det lite manjana. The lite tranquilo. Back into focus. An explosion of color coursing with dark marbled veins. His stomach appears pregnant with something. Black liquid streams down his thigh and onto his boot. So, what do you think? I think he's dead. I think he was upright after death. His hands, feet, neck are discolored. Cover, you know, something is coming out of him. He's speeding up. See the bruises. I, I think he's dead. I agree. There are crow's feet in his eyes. He's laughing silently. Drink! His personality is no longer part of the world. Totally dead. Totally dead. The world no longer stores his personality in its composition. There was a time for that and it ended seven days ago. No, better not to say that to have it. Totally. This buster not coming back. Dead, 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 dead. dead. I think it's that. I think, yeah, I think he was upright of them. Agreed. Especially on the neck. The belt acted like a tourniquet, keeping the blood in his head. The hypostasis supports her hanging. Seems like a lynching could have still uh, be it was moved after death. Everything here seems to corroborate that assumption. But we should still get him down before assigning a probable cause of death. Mm. A pool of blood and feces has eaten into the frozen mud below the man's feet. Purge we can't hop on the log. They can't even have to be our mood letter go at the hair. The victim appears to have a kilogram of digestion at the time of death. The fuck he's saying? The f Kuno. <sighs> Talking about shit. Maybe he went to the toilet some time before death. God damn right, I'm a turn around and yell. Malicious laughter erupts in the yard. Sounds like seagulls. <laughs> Big head, he's a f <laughs> The lieutenant's face is made of stone. Okay, he's beaten up. See the bruises? I do. Most of them are postmortem. Vi är irrationella, vi bara skriker. Vi, vi gör allting, det, 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 typ det sämsta alternativet är det vi tar, typ. Stop talking in riddles, coin slot. Tjena! Konvoj, konvoj. Kuno, han skiter i allt. Han skiter i allt. Fuck Kuno. Back off and catch your breath. But there is no breath to catch. Only the cadaver filling the air and your nostrils. What's up, slowly Convoy? Before you, decomposing. Are you sure we finished the preliminary examination of the cadaver? We might miss some of these things once he's done. We've been thorough. Okay, wait, wait, wait. The cadaver slowly twists on the cargo belt. I saw very tattoos and extreme an intricate web of blue lines stretches across oh. the torso if you want to re-examine i have something i need to know corpse man of course you have questions don't you yes i have the power of your ah, enough come back i am there but it the steel reinforced level up presents a unique challenge new skill points chain cutters, but i don't see a good angle of approach to the belt he doesn't actually think the challenge is unique. He thinks it's frustrating, annoying, and harder than he thought. Mm -hmm. The cadaver is a good 1.2 meters up. Neither one of us can reach the belt without assistance. And even if we do, there's the question of cutting the airship strength material. Men, uh, vänta, vi fick inte vi någon sån här cutter. Tror du? Eller fick. Vi stal, vi tog. Maybe we could shoot him down. Seems like a lot of hassle and not... Uh, shoot him down. Yeah! Bang bang time! Shoot his head off! <laughs> shoot his head off. How? How? With a buckle a revolver. That's a good spot to aim. Point it there. The buckle holds the belt together. I don't know. Just no. Point sword of brass. Where? 
Ah, yes, I see. If the shot hits that, there might be a chance to release the belt. Yes. Yeah, now we're talking. Entertain Akuno with some shit. Don't miss. The pigs will miss Kuno. The lieutenant is undecided. On one hand, he wants, wants to mm -hmm, shoot some mm -hmm. On the other, it's an awfully stupid Det är väl aldrig dum med det jag skjuter med en pistol. Vänta. Take the shot, lieutenant. What's the worst thing that could happen? Actually, don't. It has bad idea written on. Wait, let me try. The lieutenant's brow is furrowed. He appears too deep in concentration to even notice what you said. Aha, då är tråkigt. I'll blow his head off. <laughs> Take the shot! Yeah, take the shot! Kuno wants some of that shit! Silence. With his elbow sharp, the lieutenant unzips his jacket oh, oh, oh. and produces a lightweight firearm. He drops a paper cartridge in the barrel, separates the scouring stick, oh. and gives the cartridge five tucks. I come and shoot a skull of him. That's a Kiel A1990 armistice, mass produced muzzle loader, ascetic. Frugal, one of the most common firearms in the world. He then steps back and assumes the fellow Stess position, taking aim. The corner of his eye twitches. His finger is on the trigger. Shoot that motherfucker down! He's gonna fucking miss! The kid's voice is drowned in a shrill blast that echoes off the walls of the surrounding tenements. A cloud of smoke slowly parts in the air as the lieutenant steps back. And says to himself. What do we do? Fick vi ner honom? God damn it. Amissa. He feels bad about it. About his eyes mostly. Just having bad eyesight. Probably from a young age. Oh. Whatever you do, do not console him. Okay, do not console him. <laughs> Mulkupa asshole. Mulkupa asshole. <laughs> Just yeah. Men, the, uh, men of the... De är, de är livsfarliga, men och vör. Och vör, men. Kuno could have hit it easy, but then Kuno is not fucking handicapped, is he? It's okay, man. God damn it, get your shit together. Remain collegial, officer. It was an honest mistake. Ah. And I will not repeat it. I have to say, it's beginning to look unlikely we can get him down with all the assistance. Ha can I have the gun? I should try. It's bad as it is. Us shooting firearms like punks. Punks. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. I'm not stopping you. Just don't lose it. <laughs> I only have one gun. No, 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 this is the sorriest pair of pigs Kuno's ever seen. Take the gun. Yeah, take it, you fucking banani poika. Take it and shoot yourself in the mouth. Point the, the gun at the pig. Uh. to focus in your sights. You stand with your feet planted firmly in the ground and your left hand supporting your oh, gun. Yeah. That, that, that to go bra. Why don't you just shoot yourself in your f mouth? At least you won't miss. Say shut up. Or pull the trigger. Close your left eye. Point the gun at Kunas. Give the gun. Okay, wait. Say shut up. We better meet her. Or what? You're gonna fuck me? Close your left eye first. Your field of view narrows. The branch slowly moves, becoming entirely two-dimensional. The metal buckle glimmers, catching the evening light as the corpse slowly rotates. The slow movement of the branch in the wind and your shoulders directing the gun sink up, dancing hypnotically. Look, he's crying. You gonna cry now, fucking faggoty? Alltså det här vi kommer, this is a red check, it cannot be retried. Det är just, ja ah, vi, vi kör. A plume of smoke erupts from the barrel. Oopsie. From the explosion. With your ears still ringing, you lower the weapon to see what happened. You missed the belt, but hit the core. <laughs> in the chest, du vet inte när jag hittade det. The ribcage protrude from the skin. No blood, only a murky sludge dripping down his belly. The sudden stink makes your eyes water. Oh my god, he's gonna fucking cry, I knew it! What a mulko! There is something wrong with your weapon, Lieutenant, it keeps missing. 
Start crying your sense and uh, he keeps missing. The armistice is sufficiently precise, officer. Especially at close range. Mm. It's not the gun's fault you can't shoot. It's your pig hands. Shut the fuck up, Kuno. Uh, don't have hands. They have like fucking hooves or something. Fucking hoof. Kuno has hands. Kuno can shoot that shit down for you. No, Kuno. If I can't shoot him down, no one will. Lieutenant, we shouldn't trust Kuno with your service weapon. <gasps> Kurpela! We still need to get him down somehow. The bad way. The way I didn't want us to. I asked him for before. help. They have the tools and the men. If they put him up there, they can take him down too. Okay, how do we get inside the harbor? From the gates, by negotiating or fighting. Okej. Okay. Nu är det tydligt vart vi ska efter det här i alla fall. We can try to find some secret third path. Att han får hänga någon dag till eller två, det spelar liksom ingen roll. To the gates. Let's negotiate. To ask the suspect for help with the victim's body. To be indebted to Evrard Claire. Very much, yes. Which is why I would have preferred us to handle this ourselves. Clearly we can't. <laughs> Suck my dick, bitches. What's wrong with being in depth with our club? He's a dangerous and corrupt man. Mm -hmm. And we cannot predict what he will want from us in return. Yeah, don't go being someone else's bitches. Your kudos bitches. So, we just leave it. Auto save. So, if we've got a white check. There are several footprints in the mud. It's locked. Visual colors. Leave. Uh, ja, uh, spännande här då. Vi gick ju upp en level. Och vi har rätt mycket kvar att göra. Då ska vi se. Ska vi låsa upp och ta Yami Wu? Och oj, kolla. Ask the harbor, ask around the two's possible meaning. Get boots off victim's feet. Where's the rest of the armor? Mycket side quests här nu. Vi har fått några till här. Alla vita kan vi testa igen. Ska vi se tools. Där hade vi ju cigaretter. Vi hade ju, där har vi den. Chain cutter. Locked containers in the world. Och sen har vi ju någonting här att välja i sånt fall. Frågan är hur många levelar man kommer att gå upp i spelet också. Men vi... Drink! Nej, vi tar det sen. Mix loss, physical work. Det var den här vi behövde levela upp för att kunna... Uh, kolla fotavtrycken där också. Men jag vill ju även ha upp den där ett snäpp. Go to party planet. Love and be loved by drugs. <laughs> Drink! Lenny! Lenny! Men nu är det dags att runda av det här och nanna. Na 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 na. Da 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 da. Baby game. Fan, jag blir skägg. Jag måste raka mitt blonda skägg. <laughs> oh, ha det bra allesammans. Skitkul. Uh, vi fortsätter med det här. Söndag blir det väl. Anna, juldag, juldagen blir det. Jag tror det, söndag. Så att ni får ha det fantastiskt bra. Alla som var inne och kommenterat, tänk med mig en stund. Fantastiskt underbart. Vi syns framöver. Ni får ha en fantastiskt underbar tid till simon. Om ni vill titta in då. Ha det bra. Game on allesammans. Ja, just det. Vi ska ju spara. Jag gör det sen. Tack! Konvoj, konvoj för följningen. Skitgrymt. Du fan är underbar. Imorgon är det onsdag och spelar vi något, något äldre spel. Men vi tittar, vi tittar på det här spelet igen på söndag. Ni får ha det bra. Woo -woo! Perfekt att avsluta en stream med att få en följare. Ah! Plus poäng till dig. Men game on allesammans, game on. Jag måste bajsa, det är därför jag försöker runda av den också. <laughs>